Home Designs by Amanda. Today is going to be another Bible journaling video. I um, was reading this morning in 1 Samuel. I was reading in 1 Samuel 14, and um, it was talking about how Jonathan um, decides to go in into the Philistines' garrison and. Um, and he wins the battle with him and just his armor bearer. Um, and then, so I was reading here, I was talking about between the passages that um, Jonathan was going through, there was sharp rocks on either side. And as I was reading that, it just reminded me of like, not that I've been there, but like different pictures of the southwest of the United States, of how there's like narrow passages between jagged rocks and things like that in the canyons and thing and um, just different descriptions of those that I would see or hear about um, canyons out west. And I was also looking um, for an idea just to get, make sure I was thinking of it the way I wanted it to come out on paper. I um, saw a picture of Jordan, uh, a canyon like this in Jordan as well. So that's probably like what they were talking about were things like this. Um, so I'm I'm draw I drew in roughly like my canyon walls. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put those in with some ink, and um, the the one part that got that got me for the writing out of it was that um, Jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor, come and let us go over in, unto the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us. For there is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. I really like that, that the Lord will work for us. He was confident that the Lord was going to take care of them as he saw fit. And the Lord can use as few people as he wants to to get his job done. Um, so, so far I have the Lord will work for us. And once I have it all done, like colored in, I think we'll add in the, um, the Lord will save by many or by few, maybe down here in the canyon floor. Um, but I, so I drew in the canyon walls, which I'm going to put in with some ink, but I also want to put in a little bit of greenery that grows in some of these canyons. And I like, that was like one of my thoughts too, is how they have, now and then you'll see like trees and stuff growing inside the canyon. So what I want to do is just like mask off here and then put in some leaves and I got these leaves out of the new Rooted in Nature stamp set coming out in the new catalog for Stampin' Up! which will be um, available tomorrow and I will do a walkthrough. I'm a little late this week on um, getting my videos up because of the holiday and things like that but um, I'm going to get this Bible journaling one up, and we'll get up a, a um, catalog walkthrough video for this weekend, as well as hopefully I can get a card done too. I hope. <laughs> we'll see how far, how much, how far I can get done. All right. So um, I'm pulling out my wedges to start with my um, my highlighting of the edges here. I'm going to use, we have a new gray granite color, Smoky Slate and Sahara Sand, basically because that's that's what I have for the browns. I do have a few darker ones that it we might put in a little accent color with. Um, I have Soft Suede, Cajun Grays might be kind of neat to have um, in there as well, because it's like a reddish brown. So maybe we'll do that. Early espresso if I want something dark, but I don't know that I want to do that. But I got out some neutral landform kind of colors. So we have Smoky Slate, Grey Granite, Sahara Sand, Cajun Cray, Soft Suede, you know, just things like that. And then for my leaves, I probably will use Old Olive. <laughs> I just like that one. Although the new Mossy Meadow might be nice too. Um, but Old Olive, just like, the name just invokes the idea of Israel and, and things biblical. <laughs> Old and Olives. Um, so we'll probably go ahead and use that one. Um, and then I probably will also put it in, define my lines with a micron pen, 
as well as putting in the words with micro and pen. So I'm going to just get started, put it, um, speed it up for you, and put some music over it. So I hope you enjoy this Bible journal and episode. Mm -hmm. Bible journaling for um, a canyon. I like the the different colors. I tried to make like the strata that you would see in um, a cutout of land structures like this, but it didn't. It's not like really defined. But I like the coloring and try to make the different colorings of the shadowing that you would see and different colorings of the rocks you would see as you're walking through a canyon. Um, and then I went ahead and put, went over the lettering and put, added that in down there that there's no restraint to the Lord. So even if you're walking through a narrow canyon, you can, you can trust the Lord to see you through and to get you through. Um, and so there's today's Bible journaling episode. I hope you enjoyed, um, seeing how I, um, kind of painted it in, but used ink. Um, I did get a little heavy but it'll dry and you probably won't notice it so much you just have a little bit of ghosting on the other side but that's what happens when you do um these kind of journaling um in a journaling bible um and i just it was basically just ink one stamp and I thank you for friends. coming to create with me today i hope you enjoyed this bible journaling episode and that you have a great day thanks for watching bye